The kitchen. The heart of the home. We gathered here, we conversed, we told about our day, we told about our dreams, and we cooked. But then, over time, we handed over our cooking to someone else. Did you know in 1900, we had 98% of our meals in the home? Today, it's less than 50%. We spend less on food at the grocer now than at any other time in history. Less time preparing it, too. A mere 31 minutes a day. We complain we have no time to cook, yet we fill up on cooking shows rather than doing it ourselves. Oh, sure, there are lots of reasons we don't cook like we used to, from economic to governmental to both parents working. But you know who the real villain is? <laughs> These guys. We joke, oh, sort of. Yet the spud, our most popular vegetable, by the way, it symbolizes our reliance these last few decades on letting someone else cook for us. But is it really this little slice of fried Nirvana's fault? Mm, no. It's processed food's fault. It's the drive throughs fault. Yeah, it's kind of all our faults. So, how do we fix it? Easy. Start with one. One family dinner a week. Set a time, set the table, and just cook. Keep it simple. The act itself is powerful. Next week, maybe two dinners. Soon you, along with a whole bunch of others, can lay claim to your own kitchens. And maybe we as a society can grow a little bit, get smarter, and more importantly, healthier. Here are a few really easy to do tips. First, make a plan. It's the best way to ensure you'll cook, buy fresh. Cook it while it's fresh. There are websites to help, apps to help, maybe even just make an old fashioned list. Next up, celebrate the goodness of food. Food is so important. Good, fresh, delicious food is extra important. Embrace this, and you may soon learn to love cooking healthy, tasty meals for your family to enjoy. And last but not least, cook together. We know you're busy. We know you need 25 hours in your day. But really, if you can set aside some time when screens are off, when everyone's in the kitchen and dare we say it, helping prepare a meal, we'll talk about togetherness. And that's what Reclaiming the Kitchen is all about.